after blah, 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 blah. I guess not. Okay, whatever. The episode. I feel like they always stop. Say a curse word. Ooh, should I? Oh, no, that'd be bad. Ooh, I noticed Ooh, that edgy. shirt is also him. Ooh, it is also <laughs> him. I got this from the Nintendo store. Oh, you did? Oh yeah, my god. I, I was just it. there. I was just there. Shut up. I knew you were gonna tell the whole thing, but shut up. I got a uh toad uh wallet. What does that look like? It's a long, like, ladies' <laughs> wallet. I got it because I oh. thought a handheld would fit nicely in it, but then oh. I think I just gave it to Hannah. <laughs> hey, men can have purses too. I'm proud of you. I buddy. got nothing. Look at how I'm sitting. <laughs> I get made fun of for for crossing my legs. I, I mean, that is pretty extreme. Everyone in prime. I, always- I, I mean, I'm not going to make fun of you. I am going to ask a question. Are you comfortable? Like, is that com- is that comfortable for you? And if so, okay. I mean. Sat like this. Everyone in primary school, like, doesn't that hurt your balls? It's actually. Like- I mean, like. Those look like really close, like, yeah, guys, those look like really tight grips you have on your fucking junk. Like, if I cross my legs, like, my my heel is on my knee, so I have all of this, it's like a triangle. But, like, you're, you look like you're doing this. Why are you doing that? <laughs> like, it better for my it's balls. very comfortable, but I don't want people think I had small balls. It does not look comfortable. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. It does not look comfortable at all. So I started sitting like this. <laughs> okay, how he just moved his that's how I Fuck it. And yes, it does kind of imply that you have small balls, because it's like, what the how are you not crushing anything? Bob, we both use Skillshare. Yeah. It's a really handy tool. It's a way of learning online. Learning? Let me tell you I'm about it. I'm too old to learn. No, you're never of hurdles to navigate. I don't know if it's my audio or their audio, but it's uh, something sounds off now. Hold on. Restart audio engine. Skillshare's extensive class yep, library. You can learn freelance audio. tips, it's start like, a new project, or attract if. the right clients, or start a business. Even if you're not ready to start a YouTube channel, Skillshare believes there's no goal too small. Yeah, it doesn't have to be about just starting a YouTube channel. Maybe you uh, want to learn productivity tips to power more me time, or maybe the goal is to start building a personal brand. So there was a commercial back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yep. And the whole commercial bit, bit, was, bit, 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 it bit, was for bit. a Zelda game. And the whole commercial was Zelda! Zelda! Just a guy running around a room looking for Zelda. <laughs> and I have a theory that it was for the first Zelda. They, they hadn't seen the game yet. And they were just told, <laughs> it's you just look for Princess Zelda. It's called The Legend of Zelda. What do you, what, you what is it? You play, uh, <laughs> so you play a Zelda? No, you don't play I, a Zelda. You're looking for Zelda. Oh, I get it. I'm I get it. Roll tape? If you watch the commercial, it's a guy, a random guy, like in a total neck and like frizzy hair <laughs> in just a dark room, not even Hyrule. And he's just going, Zelda! Buddy, I'm going to find that shit. Thank you, Skillshare, I think. First Zelda commercial no wait you see the oh i saw thing? it i saw it yes watch zelda become a legend on your nintendo entertainment system zelda <laughs> wow he vastly undersold that <laughs> it's so much crazier than just a dude in the dark saying zelda <laughs> Oh my god, it's like, it's like the first YouTube poop ever. <laughs> Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. Uh, Literally the first YouTube poop ever, and it's a Zelda commercial. End of Zelda, a never-ending adventure new for your Nintendo Entertainment System. It's got the rob. <laughs> Zelda! Zelda! <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Zelda! And then the, the commercial is gameplay with a voiceover, like, look for Princess Zelda in the Hyrule Kingdom. Oh, yeah. it's so much more than that. <laughs> you can tell they had no idea what the commercial was for. Back no, then, it sounded like they just wanted to make it as crazy as possible. <laughs> like, marketing for games was just whatever. Like, because mm. the game was, you know, it was it's better eight, back then. It's 8 bit, so, like, mm. it, it, it's up to your imagination. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times the marketing, like like the Mega Man, uh, the, the famous Mega Man one I've heard of him. cover. I've heard of him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speedo. Yeah. Uh, but speaking about Mega Man, we wanted to talk about the new Mega Man game. Uh, that's oh, not wait, true. I meant Zelda. That's speaking of Zelda. I would love to talk about uh, a new, new Mega Man you'd love game. Yeah, is new- there a new Mega Man game? I don't think so. I think that's the new <laughs> Mega Man game. Yeah. yeah. Well, there ain't. That is I a very it. large bottle right there. Oh, it's an Oculus bottle. What? My game. Uh, Wolf, why do you have a bottle with Oculus on it? Uh, <laughs> there's a new Zelda. I don't know if you've heard of it. 
<laughs> I have heard of it. Uh, Hopefully I've played more of it by the time this goes out. I had an interesting thought. We had an interesting thought. So uh, we've been gushing about Zelda. We had a whole episode gushing about Zelda. I finished it. You've given up. But, <laughs> but baseline, we both love it. I mean, I adore it. Yeah. However, no- Where is that episode? I cannot find that. <laughs> anyway. The game is perfect. There, is, there isn't a perfect game. No. So for yeah. funsies, why don't we talk about what we actually don't like about this game, which might be a little- Frustrating to hear because no one wants to hear that. Yeah, but you gotta game. you gotta think about but it from the perspective has, that we genuinely yeah. love the game. You know, but I, I, I do have a lot. Of okay, rest. I haven't played it, and I'm okay with spoilers. But here is the moment for like, if you haven't played Tears of the Kingdom and you don't want things spoiled, like, stop watching. Driving here, actually, I was watching Nakey Jakey's new video on Elden Ring. It's like 35 he minutes. He has a new long. video. He posts yeah. like once every other yeah, month. No, that's so. why I jumped on it. Yeah. Like yes, he does. Oh my god, it's crazy, but it's awesome when he posts. Why from software change? Yeah, yeah, change. He is a huge Souls fan. Elden Ring is his favorite game of all time, and he essentially just gushes about it and explains why it's so incredible. But he spends like a whole ten minutes talking about how it could be better, even though it's his favorite game. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a fun conversation to have. And there's definitely things in Zelda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because because like what he said a moment ago, nothing's perfect. Like everything can be critiqued and be improved. And and just because you're saying that it can be improved doesn't mean that you disliked the the product. That's really crazy to me when people are like, oh, man, I found a couple of things about this. Uh, like, I found a couple of things about this thing. Now I don't like it anymore. And it's like, but wait, didn't you have this, like, big list of things you did like? And it's like, yeah, but, man, these couple of small things really bother me. And it's like, I don't I don't know if you should let it bother you that much, but okay. <laughs> After I've played for 130 hours now. Damn. That I might go in and tweak if I had the tools to do yeah. so. So, yeah, let's break it down. Okay, uh, we got, uh, I always, I, th I think it was on TikTok, I was seeing a lot of comments uh, about uh, how the controls are fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the controls. That was like one of our big criticisms. I think that's copium. Yeah, I no, think the reason why off. you're seeing that, because it's such, a, it's such a weird thing to randomly say, is because they've seen the hate, yeah. and they want people to know that they don't have a problem with them. Yeah, yeah. skill issue, or, or But I mean, whatever. if enough people are saying it to the point where you have to defend it, People are having a problem with it's it. Because it's because there's a problem. Well, there's a TikTok of us directly def saying that. that there's define a the problem. <laughs> I don't. I, I have no context with what you guys are talking about. Define the problem. Is it in response to us? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's different. But I, yeah. I, I do agree that the controls are a little wacky. They're weird. It, it, it's. I mean, but I also stand by. I they're don't... wacky in Breath of the Kingdom. Breath of the Wild. I don't. Well, I did that. <laughs> See a way it could be that much better. The only thing I would want to change is the menu system. I'd want it all to be in the same, like the quick time menu system, all in the same HUD. Uh, wheels. And wheels. Yeah. And you could just switch pages rather than like left is shields. Nope, I wanted, let me get out of that. And then it unfreezes the game and then we freeze it again for my swords. No way, I actually wanted my bow. I gotta unfreeze it again. Yeah, it, there's a lot of, the thing is that there's a lot of small mm. UI issues that add up like like a, like a lot. Like the bow, you to, to mess around with your bows, you have to have a bow equipped. And pulling your shield out right after a bow sometimes just doesn't work. There's, and I, that's another thing. If you want to mess with your shields, you have to have the shield equipped. I want to test this and go back to Breath of the Wild, but I swear in this game, when you attack and then you go to change your sword, there's like a two or three second delay before it allows you to bring that menu up. But in Breath of the Wild, you could instantly like attack and then like as the hit lands, you can change your weapon. Hmm. And this um, one, there's such a big pause to the point where the yeah, enemy will get a chance. From what I was noticing, you can't, you can't be in the middle of your animation. You have to let the animation finish. So... Once the animation is done, then you can change weapons. That's what I was saying. Pretty much attack or queue up their attack before you can change your weapon. Yeah. And it's so frustrating. I want to go back and test if I'm just imagining it. But like, literally, I'll be like spamming the D-pad, just like hoping that it comes mm -hmm. up. Yeah, sometimes I'll press a button and, and I'll be like, oh, maybe I hit the wrong. Like, this all happens within like a second. Like, I'll press a button. I'll be like, oh, maybe that was the wrong button. And then I'll press every other button and then go back to that button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it happens a lot. I think uh, we said we, we throw our, our swords all the time. Oh, I do that. Too. That's You know, I don't only because I'm terrified of doing it. So I never touch the right D-pad yeah. for any reason. The right, the right, uh, the right trigger. button. Right, right yeah. trigger, yeah. Uh, I forgot why, they, I think it's because- Is their thing flipped? They're both using their left. <laughs> I, you pick things up with the ultra hand and then you rotate it with R. So then it feels like you just wanna just really quickly like, uh -huh. like do that. And you get used to pressing R. Yeah, yeah. a lot because you're holding uh -huh. L to, with the ultra hand. And you take the L. And then you take the big L. You can throw items in this game by holding R first to ready your weapon. Then you press up on the D-pad and change what's that in the hand. That is really dumb. It should yes. be up on the D-pad and then R to equip it. And then you hold it. Yes. That's what it should be. be. And when you press up on the D-pad, R doesn't do anything. Yeah. So there's no reason for it not to register to like going to throw. Yeah, it should it be It is like the weirdest that. thing. And it's, I've, 
I don't think I've thrown by hand a single thing in my 130 hours because I'm just so scared of pressing R. I'm like never going to press it. Also, I haven't figured out how to, uh, uh, well, uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Friggin' meld Sex. something? When you Smash fuse, fuse is the word. I'm, uh, I, was I, need, I need a lot of help. <laughs> you were doing all kinds of movements, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fuse. You ever heard of it? Mm-hmm. Weapons or like- They blow in my house. I can't. <laughs> they had a stop in my house. That used to be a big problem. Uh, I got an electrician for you. Uh, I I got boba. <laughs> I can't figure out how to fuse something without having it equipped. You have to have it equipped, right? Yes. To fuse it. Yeah. 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 Oh no, I'm sorry. You have to like if I have something in my inventory that I want to fuse to my weapon, you have to hold it and then drop it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why yeah, not? Why that, can't I just do that yeah. from the menu? Yeah. If I'm if I'm going into the menu to hold the item, I mean, I think, why can't I fuse it from the menu? I think because it's so satisfying to do it and and see it happen that they really wanted that to be the way it happened. It's satisfying when you do it in the world, sure, mm-hmm. but it's not satisfying have to go, having to go into the menu, hold it, and drop. But it. But I will say they could also make that menu item satisfying. <laughs> True. I, I will say at least they made it so when you're flicking through in the quick time menu, you can drop from there and you can just drop it out. That was a huge change. Oh, you can't, you don't just hold it. You can just straight up drop it. Yeah. No, yeah. Like, you know how you press R and you see all your weapons come up? Oh, all from right. there. Yeah. You can drop from in there. You mean the D-pad? Mm. Yes. Okay. When you're in the game and you press the D-pad and it comes up in the freeze menu, you can drop anything from in there now. Oh, okay. In Breath of the Wild, you could only drop if you went into the menu hard. I, yeah, I've been hitting pause, holding the thing and then dropping it. So it is actually pretty easy to like, if you want to fuse one of the things like a weapon to just go into quick time, drop it and fuse. I would still prefer to just go yeah. into the menu and say, but at least there's fuse that. Fuse this. Also like with the arrows, you just fuse directly from that menu, right? The that arrows, you can. The, arrows fuse. the arrows are so easy. Yeah. The arrows have yeah. no problem. Why with. isn't that everything? <laughs> Do yeah. that, but with everything. The arrows are super mm. easy to fuse. I love fusing the arrows. Yeah. I've been me- I've been finally messing. You know what? I haven't really done as much experimenting as I thought I would in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that slipped mm-hmm. out. All right. As much experimenting as I thought I would uh, with the items. Like when you watch the trailer, they were like, you can put a mushroom on the shield and then when you get hit, the enemies won't see you. You flash the, bang them. Yeah. The amount of battles I've struggled in and then like a hundred hours in, I went, oh yeah, I could like do this or that or this. Why am I just so archaically trying to kill everything yeah. like it's Breath of the Wild? So now in well, post game, I'm Probably because you're primed to like, you you already played so much Breath of the Wild. So now it, that's how you're going to play this one, even though it's different mess around and do more things and some things are really cool there's a enemy you find at some point that i won't ruin too much but it drops a bone and when you it's really strong it's like material but when you put it on a on a sword it breaks first hit yeah, every time that. and i was that. like what's the point in this but then i realized arrow one use you put it on a heckin arrow and now you have like a really strong arrow i was just praising this game for not being like a souls like because in a souls like you can accidentally i think in I think it was Dark Souls 2 or something, or maybe the first Dark Souls. I You spawn, and then you can go right into a cave that is an endgame cave. Mm-hmm. And, like, you're not supposed to be there, but it make, the game makes you think that you're... that It's, like, very easy to lead. That is probably 2. That is... um, I mean, that can happen in 1. If you go to the left and not to the right, it is kind of an in-game area. Uh, But from what I was remembering... Uh, remembering two is the one that attempted to be more open world uh i didn't play a lot of two i need i need to play more of it um so yeah i i think i think he's talking mainly about two but you could kind of do that in one if you weren't really paying attention and you went to the left and to the instead of to the right you there. Wait, down into and- a hole that does kind of sound like one and you just get one shot. And you're like, "This is the game I'm getting." Yes, one. yes. But you that can happen at the that can happen if you go right, just because of how challenging Dark Souls can be. <laughs> if you go right, you still have to deal with the wyvern, and he can one shot you. Shot it. Then you open a guide, and it goes, "Whatever you do, don't go in that cave. Go around it." Yeah. It's so, interesting that you think it's not like a Souls like because I think these two Zelda games are more like Souls likes well, than Zelda has ever been. I was praising it for not being like that. Um. Yes. But. But it, 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 but if it is, it's because Breath of the Wild kind of stepped out of normal bounds, and then Elden Ring took a lot of inspiration from Breath of the Wild alongside its pre-existing formula, and then now Tears of the Kingdom, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, those games look like Souls likes, kinda. And then it turns out it is kind of like that. But I will say that I would like to know what I would have done if Tears of the Kingdom was my first time playing Zelda and I, or I didn't remember anything about Breath of the Wild because for me it told me to go to Rito Village first so yeah. I went there first and from there my I brain thought- what 
Wait, Tears of the Kingdom told you to go to Rito Village first? Or Breath of the Wild told you to go to Rito Village first? I did. Where is Rito Village? You did. You did the boat, the boat area? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Okay. That's, that's why I went there, yeah. And in my brain, after that, when I'm sat there, I'm like, where do I go next? I'm like, well, I could go to another main checkpoint or I could try and go into all the towns, like Kakariko Village. That's what I did. And- I went to the f- closest main checkpoint, which ended up being the end game checkpoint. <laughs> hmm? I wanted to go to the first, the, the closest event, Phenomenon. Mm. Oh, and yeah. And it was the one to the south. Well, that's not end game. That's just a tricky one. It's just a hard one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Where think, everything one shot me and everything well, was impossible to fight. I don't think any of them are supposed to be hard. I think they're all equivalent. I think some of them just appear trickier because you have to worry about weather conditions or stuff. Something was wrong with that one because everything was extremely powerful down there. Oh, you mean the undead guys? Yeah. Well, no. No, they were just bokoblins that were just had like armor oh. and stuff. And then there was the giant oh. sandworm thing that hones in on you. Oh, but he's easy to beat if you know how. Okay. <laughs> he, no, he literally you know he, he looks at you and then you immediately get one shot yeah so he senses I four hearts. he senses things on the ground so yeah. you just put something on the ground somewhere else and he goes for that and then you attack him oh like like tremors like uh like, yes uh, like tremors the, 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 the monster hunter movie like the movie tremors with kevin bacon I oh my watched, god i watch so good, good movies like the monster like tremors, movie tremors with three mila yukovich <laughs> <laughs> you know the resident evil girl mm, yeah, the yeah, resident yeah. evil uh, girl <laughs> no i know i will concede that that area is probably i think it's the hardest out of all four yeah i know you said that before yeah. and then i said it was the end game i don't area, think then you i don't me. think it's end game hard but it's okay. definitely like the hardest it's the four. fourth phenomenon i always i always leave Goron <laughs> city till last i say always out of these two games that i played because I, I hate having to deal with the heat thing and trying to figure out okay, how do i get not hot this time yeah that was the third place i yeah. went and then that was when i was starting to get pretty frustrated yeah i mean i want to hear what do you it's yeah i guess it's kind of aggravating but it's just like look in Breath of the Wild, this is look for some lizards. Okay, now I got some lizards. Okay, make the thing. Okay, now let's get to the Goron Forest or the Goron City so we can forest. So we can make the so we can get rupees and get the armor as quick as possible. I literally did that today. <laughs> Hannah talk because she uh also she's she doesn't play a lot and she started mm-hmm. playing this game. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was a little surprising. I have she some, actually played a significant amount of it and she was complaining a lot. I have some <laughs> game gripes I can go over, but let's do this first. Okay, well, um, I did complete Rito Village. I only completed one of the regional phenomenon, but I did. I think I went to uh, the Goron first, and then I got down into. You got the, pretty far in the Goron. Yeah, though. I got so down into the underground stuff. area, and then I just noped out of it. And I was like, I think I should have listened to the dialogue that told me to go to a certain regional phenomenon because I felt like I shouldn't be there. Were you on fire? Um, it was just dark, and like I know you have to use the the seeds or whatever, but okay. I just was totally lost, and I was like, Am I missing something here? Am I supposed to be here? Wait, in the depths. So in the depths, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, so that yeah. happened to me too. I ended up in the depths uh, before even doing the first phenomenon, but uh, yeah. and then I noped out of there too. But the I had depths, a lot of fun in the depths there. The, they, the way they try and set that up, it's right near the lookout. There's a depths, and there's a little bit of story down there, and you get a feel for the depths. And then after that, it's on you. That's, you, that's you how I felt. Yeah. Can or yeah. you don't go down there. Yeah. So yeah, like like Wood said, I like kind of like discovering things for the first time. I really like doing the the shrines and everything. So I've just been trying to unlock the map and like leveling up. So the rest of the game should be easier. How much but, of Breath of the Wild did you play? Um, I think I beat like two of the Divine Beasts. I, I didn't finish okay, it. So we're but, like, the same page? Yeah. But it's been a while, right? <laughs> yeah. You were complaining that they don't really tell you much in the beginning about like the actual um, mechanics of the game. Um, right. Like, fighting did, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I did feel like that in the beginning. And and the shrines that... Ex- they, they do if you just so happen to hit the right points of interest right before you get to them. Uh, like if you just so happen to see all the tutorials where they want you to see them, then yeah, it does a good job of walking you through it. But there's a really good chance that because it's so open world, you're not going to see them. Um, like the first few times that I played, I did not, uh, have any idea that you could even see that you even met Sidon before going to the, the Zora city or whatever. Yeah, I had no idea explain that or all kind of like weirdly spread yeah, out it feels that like that is really weird yeah it was kind of like that in the first game too it was but i feel like this one was even more egregious like yeah. i got like 40 hours into the game and then it taught me about bows and how to get a headshot <laughs> yeah. like, right. and it was somewhere really random in the game I'm like if i'm here i figured this out by now yeah yeah that is strange yeah. um so like if, if you're not like uh i think it's like kind of a level of confidence that comes with this kind of game like you just you you need to know like uh, that that you are going in in the right way. Like uh, sometimes it feels like you aren't, but if you have that confidence, like you'll 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 keep like going on the mm-hmm. path you're going. But I w- was sometimes like doubting myself if I should be there. Yeah, you played 
a significant amount of the game. Like if she didn't want to play it, she would stop playing. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you were compl- I knew that you liked it because you kept playing. Yeah. And you played a lot of it. But you were complaining the whole time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. The, I, sometimes the, the shrines they they get in my head, and I'm not. The, she would she would get frustrated. Bow, but... She would get frustrated, but then she would beat it. Yeah. You know? the, the the wacky thing with the shrines this time around is I find a lot of their puzzles that they've kind of designed and the way you're supposed to do it yeah. confuses me. Yeah. But then I always find out a weird, stupid way of doing it instead. Yeah. yeah. And that's fun. And yeah. It's, yeah. Fun. it's better. I've solved yeah. almost every shrine. But that's their puzzles were designed with that in mind, like. It's a puzzle and it has an intended solution, but it also has a variable number of alternative solutions that also work. Um, and that was, yeah, that's been a really fun thing to experiment with with Breath of the Wild. In the same way. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about how frustrating it is playing it on Twitch. That's kind of why I stopped playing it because oh. I don't want to play it on Twitch anymore. Oh, are there complete... problems on Twitch? Oh, do tell, Wolf. Say something to her. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, about the not really knowing where to go. Or like feeling you might be in the wrong way. I think that's kind of the beauty of this game where there are harder parts, but if you're finding it too hard, it's not that you shouldn't be there. You can explore at any point you want to. But if you're finding it too hard, you can just go somewhere else. Yeah. The same thing people said about Breath of the Wild and Elden Ring is, you know, if you it 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 is so much better to just step away and go do something else than it is to just Did I get it this time? Nope. Did I get it this time? Nope. Okay, fuck it. I'm not playing this ever again. <laughs> like, it. Yeah, some people hate that there's such a wide level difference in some areas. Um, like what he's talking about, where like one area made it seem like the enemies were massively hard. Yeah, I, I mean, that makes the scaling very difficult to do in a game. But it is also really annoying to like be in you know like you you're you're going through you're in a you're in a vibe and then you get you know, there's a roadblock and you're like okay the only thing i can do is force my way through this roadblock um it's much better to be able to step back and go you know do something else do another quest maybe get stronger so you can come back and fight this guy again maybe just spend more time with the mechanics till you're a little more dexterous and understand the mechanics better and now you can fuck him up just because you understand the game better. And I think like someone who plays video games a lot knows that, but and, the, and they know it's kind of like an open world game. But if you don't really know that and you think the story's more linear, you're like, oh, like, did I miss something? That makes sense. Uh-uh. Exactly. That does make sense. Yeah. I, I mean, I could definitely. Um, yeah, I can definitely see that. There are a lot of times I've been like, am I just doing something wrong? What's what's happening? Awesome. Zelda, Zelda is a breed of its own. It's not like Ubisoft games where they're open world just to be open world this game in Elden Ring, they utilize the open world in a way that's very freeing. So yeah, you can just go anywhere you want and do anything you want. There's, there's no wrong way to play at all. I'll say I'm yeah. on my third place now that I'm going to. Like I got I got noped out of two to if three different places. If you enjoy exploring the game, getting noped out of somewhere can still be fun that's because what I'm you saying. explore somewhere else. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yep. why I don't think this game is for somebody who just wants yeah. to, you know, do yeah. the missions. And I mean, just it's, get to the it's end. one of the most overwhelming games I've played. Like, I couldn't yeah. imagine going in with the mindset of, let me rush this. Yeah. Because it's just... That's the thing is that like, it's not rushed. I don't think it's rushing to want to beat the game in 30 hours. You could... I think I think you could figure it out in 30 hours yeah. if you really wanted you're to. You're not speedrunning yeah. it, right? Like you're... Because you, someone speedran it like day one and like... You can you can beat the game in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. But I think if you if you really were committed to like, okay, screw everything, you could... You, you can already build things with fans. Just build a flying device and just fly to the next area. Mm-hmm. Just skip everything. Or just beeline to the towers. That's what I did. And fly yeah. for so I flew to yeah. the area I wasn't supposed to be in. You can, you can, you can, and then I had to leave. You can crush it. The only thing that's going to get in your way is the really hot area because you have to find a solution for that. Yeah. And if you're trying to beeline straight in, that's going to be tough. Yep. I but, flew right into it. Now I'm like, great. Now everything's on fire. But it does kind of tell. It does kind of tell you how to do it. Literally, the pot that <laughs> locked out. I, lo- I love how they're both just like, well, mainly him, but also that one chick is like, uh, I mean, I just couldn't figure it out. This thing, blah, 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 excuse. And Wood's just like, no, I mean, the game tells you how to do it. It's, it's, you know, this or that. <laughs> it's just very clear he's put, he put way more time into it than they did. Being on fire, there is a store right next to it that sells the thing. Well, I went into the store that had the $700 suit. And yeah, then, and then I and then I was like, I don't have seven hundred dollars. I'm broke. And Did then, you sell anything? I didn't have much. Mm. And then I, uh, and then I was very tempted to do a duplication glitch, but then I was like, I'll just go to the Zora thing. It's probably easier anyway. You wanted to talk about the glitches too. I do want to talk about the. Glitches. I still want to talk about some late game grabs, but Twitch. Yeah, does Hannah have anything more to say? 
Uh, I was wondering if you guys, like how often do you guys use the Zonai devices to build things? So I feel oh. like I'm underutilizing those. I do it a lot at for this traversal. Point, all the time. All the time. I At first, my brain really wasn't like wired to anything other than I can make brum brums. So I didn't, I didn't want to make too many of those because I didn't want to blitz through the game. I didn't want to like ride too quickly through it on like flying devices. But now that I'm late game and I'm exploring and trying to get places quickly, I, I have like an air bike that I made and I can like air bike places. Um, <laughs> That's but awesome. again, there isn't like a that. wrong way to play. It, like if you don't want to make the Zonai devices, just don't make them and just do it your own way. I honestly yeah, but I mean like her question is more, is she missing out on content and is she making the game more difficult than it needs to be by ignoring the Zonai mechanic? And yeah, probably. <laughs> Um, it seems like they're a really big benefit. So if you're not putting time into understanding that system, then yeah, you're kind of handicapping yourself. The most to like get up high. Yeah. And, I, and then I just use the power glider to fly mm -hmm. around. But I do use like the, if I see the makings of a car or a boat, I will ham that together and, mm -hmm. and, and go. I haven't played enough of it. To even the it the tiny it. little bit that I started to play, it looked like it does give you a pretty healthy amount of supplies just around the world to make whatever. Um, like I had the stuff to make like a flying vehicle from what I remember I didn't get to play a lot of it I'm sad I want to play more of it so I want to do it but there's like Peanut Butter Gamer just put out his review on it and he was saying that he's like yeah I, I am 100 hours in and I really didn't do any building yeah you don't have to no you no, don't, you don't do it. it just I mean, depends on how creative duh. you are or what it is you really want to build like yeah. I've I've struggled in fights that I've seen someone online beat in a second because they built like a death machine. Yeah, Dude, I want to do that. Crazy. Mm -hmm. I want to get the auto build. That's sick. Yeah, I want to yeah. get that. Um, I saw someone build a machine that was like a bunch of walls that went in like a C shape, and then there were springs on the inside with spike walls, and they just went like this. <laughs> he was on wheels, so he could drive it around. So he would drive up to a Lionel and just smash him a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> it was sick. Like, that is awesome. awesome. Make that. That's what I want to yeah. do. But yeah. That would be cool to like do and stream like you building things and I did doing that. wacky stuff. I built a truck on stream. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I actually saw that. Yeah. It looked like it was part of the game, but you were just yeah. having a good time with yourself. Yeah, <laughs> it looked even more like part of the game because the part of the game I was in had arches and it looked like checkpoints. Yeah, <laughs> it looked it like I was driving awesome. checkpoints. I literally thought you were doing like a mission. Yeah. But yeah, I kind of stopped playing it because I was getting really frustrated with uh, doing shrines and then people telling you like oh, yeah, what switch because like they have, to a certain extent i don't mind somebody telling me where to go because mm -hmm. i wanted i wanted to get to the end i want people to tell me where to go but the shrines is like a puzzle mm -hmm. this game yeah is really, yeah you know, just a puzzle game There's the like, whole game is a puzzle game yeah 100%. yeah and that's cool i like that that's another reason why i get a little frustrated people are like i want dungeons because okay. the whole i've got a i've got a story about this i <laughs> in my like when i first started streaming years and years and years ago i started playing until dawn because i got it for free from the playstation plus account uh and I, uh, man, like halfway through the story and somebody ruined the twist <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck, dude, this is a story like consequences matter kind of game. And you're going to come in here and be like, oh, well, actually the, uh, do you, you don't know the scary part. It's this. And it's like, man, come on. I still ended up playing through a lot of it, but I, I didn't, my original plan was to play through as many endings as possible, but after getting the end ruined and then seeing the end, I was like, nah, I'm good with the ending I have. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it anymore. Whole game is a puzzle game. Yeah, it's what made me, I wanted to buy the quarry and play it on stream, but I had that thought and was like, nah, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> whole, the whole map is one big dungeon. Yeah. Like, yeah, you don't go into as many linear dungeons. The whole thing is a dungeon. Yeah. I like that. I like little small, tiny dungeons that you they just mm -hmm. get get out of the way. And it uh, feels valuable. Like it feels like you're earning something for doing those yeah, incentives yes. to, to go in there. So especially when they're optional. Yeah. Uh, what really got me frustrated is do, going into one of these puzzle shrines, and then you're messing around trying to figure out what to do because you just touch a bunch of stuff and look around, and eventually something will happen. You know, you see all these items around you, you start picking them up and start figuring out what to do, and then you pick up one, and then a light bulb clicks. And you're like, oh, this glides. I can mm -hmm. use this to glide. The second I lift it up, I go, oh, this glides. Somebody in chat, it glides, you idiot. Go on in. It glides. <laughs> yeah, I, right. I showed what you saw, man. Give right me a second. Dude, some people, some people have no patience. My God. <laughs> that got, that, I started yelling at the chat. And I was like, I, I don't, oh, I don't do that. Stream. I streamed my whole playthrough. And like by the second stream, I had an automatic reflex of the second I knew in the game, I want to solve this. I didn't look at chat. Mm -hmm. I was done with chat. And I would even be saying like, I'm not looking at you right now, chat. Yeah because i don't want anyone and they will it doesn't matter i have no backseating in my title in like the tags <laughs> there's no backseating people will still backseat yeah and then they're like they'll say things like 
is there backseating to tell him what to do next? <laughs> like they don't even understand what backseating is. Yeah. <laughs> it's very frustrating. Car. What was he yeah. I was not that driving one. anywhere. Hannah told me like to make a left somewhere while we were driving, and I was like, stop backseating, but in a car. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, but but I I also like how you could solve the the puzzles any way you want. Mm -hmm. So like that's another thing when Twitch chat is telling you the way to solve the puzzle, but you have a wacky yeah, way that's not a in way. your mind. There's, yeah. there's a way to say fuck it and do it the way, way you that want. Seems like mm -hmm. what Nintendo the, yeah. wants you to do, but then you're like, I could build this wacky contraption, mm -hmm. and you'll lose. Dude, that. I literally just bomb jumped into uh, to solve the puzzle earlier. <laughs> man, fuck what chat wants. <laughs> just do you, man. And if somebody tells you what to do, that's yes. more fun to do some whacked out shit to get to the other side. Yeah, this is a very streamer specific problem, but yeah, that's why I was so adamant. And I, I must've got annoying for my chat over 11, 11 streams, but I just kept saying no spoilers, no backseating. I, I was so rigorous with it. I was like, don't even ask me if I've done something yet. Because <laughs> on the first stream, someone was like, have you gone to a stable yet? And like checked in your old horses? And I was like, that's, you're spoiling it yeah. by like asking like, have you got the, the Majora's Mask yet? It's like, you're spoiling <laughs> I saw that really early, like the second day the game was out, people mm -hmm. were getting all these wacky outfits. And I was like, I would have liked to have seen that Exactly. Game. So yeah. I, I, I- Don't I, look it up. <sighs> but I yelled at the- That is your fault, my dude. People are gonna post their content. And if you don't want to see it, like if you don't want spoilers like that and you want to experience it in the game, don't look it up. Don't listen to your algorithm when it says, hey, hey wolf, hey, uh, hey bot, or uh, wait, Hey Wood, sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> He's Bob. <laughs> hey Wolf, hey Wood, do you want to see some uh, Tears of the Kingdom memes? Just be like, no, <laughs> I don't want to see anything. <laughs> so much that my chat, even with like a thousand people in there, had nothing to talk about because they mm -hmm. felt like they couldn't talk about the game. They were yeah. too scared to say anything about the game. People were getting timed out and banned left, right, and center. <laughs> wow, that doesn't sound fun at all, Wood. But the thing is, wow. Hmm. Is I need to review this. And I, also I mean, maybe if that's the way it's gonna be, just be like, "Hey, chat. You know, I love you guys. You're great. But this is a but this is a thing I just really don't want spoiled or ruined. So I'm not. I'm gonna turn my ability to see chat off. You can still see your chat pop up on the screen. Blah 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 blah. But I'm not even gonna see it because I want to do this and I want to do it without you guys spoiling it for me. And like maybe give them a chance and be like, hey, the first few times we're gonna see how chat does, and if you guys behave, we'll let you, you know, stick around. But I don't know. That's kind of a weird atmosphere to be like, oh my god, if I, uh, if I ask Wood if he's, if I'm just curious and I ask Wood this question, is he gonna ban me? It's like, I don't want to experience Whoa. it, and I don't want a tainted experience and a tainted review. I don't want to go on my review and be like, well, the puzzles were kind of easy, and then you look at my playthrough and I'm like, all right, chat, what do I do here? <laughs> and that to tell me what to do, you know, I yeah. want to experience it for myself. Yeah. Plus, yeah, I, I didn't, I don't think I solved a single shrine the way I was supposed to. So why would I want someone to tell me how to do it when I could just do it myself? Yeah. Were there any that uh, like really stumped you or anything you yes. had to look up or kind of consult with you the chat? There was yes. One that made absolutely no sense. So early, I don't know if this is the one, but early on before I really adapted to the Tears of the Kingdom lifestyle, of like, you can do anything you want. Yeah. There was two sensors on the left and right side of the dungeon and a ball was constantly rolling forward. And you had to, what it kind of made it look like you had to do was build a paddle and then time it. So it hit it into the thing, the ball into the thing. And I spent like an hour. Oh, I saw that on, tw on Twitter. Trying to hit it over. I, I think people see that as the hardest one. It was so hard. And then my Tears of the Kingdom brain didn't even kick in that day because I beat it. Days later, it kicked in. Anything can touch that sensor. Doesn't have to be that ball. I could literally have just thrown something at it and it would have worked. <laughs> so did, you, did you sit there and wait for the baseball? I sat there in until there? I got it. Okay. Like the way you're supposed to, but I could easily have hacked it and cheated it. I saw, and I think that when this, when that hit me was because I saw a clip online of someone trying to do it and the paddle that they had made broke and went flying and the ball puddled. Didn't even get anywhere near, didn't even leave the ground, but the part that broke snapped off and flew into the sensor and hit it, oh. and that counted. And that's when I was like, oh, the ball didn't have to hit it. Anything could have hit it. Yeah. And that's the beauty of the game, is that that's yeah, silly. Yeah, you can do it any way you want. I actually solved a puzzle last night. I had to get really high uh, and get up somewhere, and like, I didn't even take a second to try and figure out what the game wanted me to do. There was a chest in there that I had already got, so I glued the chest on a slant, on a pole, like a flag almost, and then just lined it up and I ascended through the empty chest and stood on it like a platform and then just hopped over. <laughs> I don't know what the game wanted me to do. Yeah. I'm in this, I've done 150 shrines now and I'm just in the zone of wow. like getting in, getting out. Like I don't even, I don't even look at the shrine. I look at where the exit is 
And then I see if there's any like switches I have to hit. And if there's not, I'm like, I'm just going to get over there. Yeah. <laughs> I always make sure to have rockets on my shields at all times <laughs> because chances are you can just walk into a dungeon or a shrine, rocket up and go to the exit. That's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. I think I solved one by taking a, 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 a fan. Mm -hmm. Just like dropping it down. and, and, and Yeah, I, I think I saw you do that one. Yeah. Do you think that like some people would get turned off by the game by being able to like kind of just skip through the puzzles? Because like when I play like Fallout, and I, I do this every time I play Fallout. I'll... I'll play it for like 20 hours and then I'll go into God mode mm -hmm. and I'll put everything out and then I'll hate the game and I don't want to play it anymore. I don't think so. <laughs> Here's why. No matter how you solve it, it always makes the Zelda sound <laughs> da -da 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 of you have figured it out. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how many times you get it's in there and do rewarding. it. It's always rewarding. It doesn't feel like a cheat. And oh. the quicker you do it, the better you feel. <laughs> also, like, I'm sure that the, the, the rocket solves a lot of them, but not all of them. Not all of you them. Know? Yeah. Like, like you're going to still, you, you can't just God mode every single one. I saw one where a guy was like lava and he like made an accordion bridge that mm -hmm. like opened up and just shot out and he just went over. The, I was like, that is sick that is, even think about that it's so cool man there, there was a lava one where like uh at the far end there were those water fountains spitting into the water and it was making several platforms like slowly move towards me and my first thought was okay so i've got to like hop on all of these and then very quickly my second thought was i'm just going to reverse one so i stood on it and started reversing it and it was like shoving all the other platforms out of the way as it just brought me to the thing and went da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and it's just so good like you can't and there's so many ways you could have done it but that's just such a cool way of doing it. I watched you do one that I, the electric one, and, and at, you breezed through it. I breezed uh, through most of them. It was later in your playthrough. Mm -hmm. uh, but then at the at the end, there's a part where you have to take a piece of, like, the, the there's two metal things, and you have to get the electricity to cross them. Mm -hmm. So you oh, yeah. and I did the same thing. We just took a metal weapon, and we're like, Yeah, dunk, I just dunk, dropped, dunk, <laughs> dropped metal weapons. Why is it dunk? It's not working. Uh -huh. uh, I forgot. You got through it in a wacky way. I think what I ended up doing was dropping two metal weapons and attaching them together. Cause I think they just weren't enough. Mm -hmm. You needed two to really hit and get the electrical. Oh, there, there you go. You know what my absolute You're favorite. You're supposed to, there's like a cog wheel. You go bunk. Yeah. Bink, I actually realized it. that on the way out. Took me a long time. I was walking that. past <laughs> it and was like, Oh, <laughs> uh, I only knew that cause Chad ruined it for me. My absolute favorite moment. I think in my whole playthrough that I was streaming is in the Goran city temple. Uh, you have to get five of those, whatever they were in that, the, the gongs that you had to ring. And there was one I just couldn't get to. There was a massive tower with multiple levels. And I was, I was flying around it for like 45 minutes to an hour. And I couldn't find the way in. There was mine carts everywhere. I mine carted around the whole thing. I was losing my mind. I could see there was multiple levels. And it was what I needed was at the very bottom layer. So I knew there had to be an entrance up top somewhere, looking everywhere. I finally, after running around the base, I just had this dumb thought. There was a lava on the ground everywhere. So I got one of the fountains and I started spraying onto the lava and started making rock platforms. And then I connected them all and you could just fit underneath the entire structure. And I zipped up through oh. <laughs> and I got the gong. And my chat who'd been watching me for a long time went nuts because nobody had done it that way. And I was like, is that the way I was supposed to do it? And it was a sea of no, just no, 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 no. There's an entrance at the top. And I looked up and I could see a ton of stuff and I just walked out, didn't have to do it. <laughs> And <laughs> my chat was saying that was so creative. I had never seen anyone do it that way. And it was that moment that even though I had a lot of other moments, it was that moment that I went, this game's sick. That I, because <laughs> it could have not let me do that. It, they, it yeah. could have just, they, they could have just stopped that part of the floor, put something over the top so no one could zip through. And the whole time I was doing it, I was like, please let this work. And it always works. Yeah. Ocarina of Time wouldn't let you do that. <laughs> Ocarina of no. Time wouldn't let me do that. Ocarina would have been like, no, you didn't walk on this pixel and press this button. I agree with that. Yes. Get the right way. I mean, this is, and I've said this before, but this is the developers really letting go of, of their hubris in the sense of like, we've designed this puzzle. You better solve it the way you're supposed to. And yeah. just do what you want. Nintendo, you have to play the cheating, game the, the way we developed cheating it. Cheating feels good. I think that's actually a quote that from is one what, of them. Yeah. 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 And the whole game is about cheating. Just figuring out the wackiest yeah, it's God story. mode. It is. They, yeah. they gave you God mode. But just enough that like you still have to figure it out. Yeah. We were supposed to be talking about what we didn't like about the game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, we somehow found our way around. Yeah, I was like... Um... So I'll say in really late game, something that I've realized about the land of Hyrule as far as the plains, a lot of missions and a lot of side stuff always ends up in caves. And a lot of the caves... Uh, the same. It's like Skyrim. Yeah, just so... They copy and pasted caves. And I realized and recently as I'm... Initially, there was such a thrill every time I'd find a new cave and it'd come up with a new discovery and I'd look around to see what was in there. Especially going down the wells to begin with. It was like always a new well to find. But now I've gone in so many caves and they are all the same. Yeah. Um, and I think that had lost a little bit of charm on me a long time ago. So now a lot of discoveries on the land of Hyrule. It feels like... Because they're reusing the land. 
And it felt like they were like, okay, we can go up and we can go under, but what can you find on the actual planes that are new without changing too much? Well, let's do a, like giant caves everywhere. And that's a really cool idea, but they're all, they all feel very samey. I yeah. keep finding mm-hmm. cave after cave after that's cave. It has one frog in there that I can shoot and get a little like gem out of. And then some and like- then you give to the weird some, guy. Yeah, you give to the weird guy. And then a few rocks to break and get amber. And then you're probably done and you leave and you just go to the next cave. Yeah. So that- feels a little samey. It's getting kind of repetitive. I mentioned the item duplication glitch before and then you got really, you made a really yeah, stank face. I, I, Twitch chat's one reason why I made that face because mm-hmm. I hate doing stuff like that. I yeah, refused. I decided I didn't want to do it. I was watching Fried it felt, Biscuits. It felt a little too, too uh, easy. Our buddy last night, Fried Biscuits, we were just sat in Discord before you guys joined and we played some sick Valent and lost. Um, <laughs> and he brought up his game and he had 150,000 rupees. And I was like, my God, tell me your secrets. I'm broke in this game. And he's like duplication glitch. And I was like, all right, never mind. Don't tell me. He, he, so they patched one of them out, but there's more now. They, I just saw this morning they found a new one. I saw, they keep finding new. I ones. saw one that doesn't seem like a glitch. It seems legitimate. It's it's when well, you, if you're dupl- if it's not supposed to be in the game. Well, not. this is that's what I mean. This seems like a, it. I don't know a way around it. Like uh, I, people, you. I mean, there's the one where you just multiply a billion times, you mm. know, and, and it just it just goes over and over again, and all of a sudden you end up with fifty thousand, uh, whatever. Uh, this. You get the arrow that shoots three arrows. Mm-hmm. You know the, mm-hmm. the, the the bow and arrow that shoots three. Get arrows. to Lionel bow. Yeah, you take you take a diamond, put it on an arrow, oh. and then it turns into three arrows, and then you just go pick up the three arrows. Oh, that, that seems like not a glitch. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem like that bad. That's how the game is. That's probably like oh yeah, you can do that. that yeah. I saw it on TikTok. Okay, that's actually sick. right. That's just I like part of the game. Actually. Yeah, that so, I'll do. The, yeah, the, the glitch when, I won't do. When it's like. You gotta pull out your sword and you jump, do a backflip, and then yeah. right as you're in the peak yeah. of the flip, you bring up the menu and like, you I'm drop not, the sword, I'm and good. then you have to get back in the game and shield switch. And then if you like turn right ninety degrees, your second weapon in your first slot will get duplicate. That yeah. I don't. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's clearly kinda, not that's some bullshit. Yeah. But this is, this is like you're that, that just man. makes sense. Yeah, it's the game. You get one arrow turns to three. Let's go pick them up. That was actually a revelation for me too, realizing that everything I attached to that bow got duplicated because mm-hmm. for the longest time, I was using the eyeballs, the heat-seeking eyeballs, which are sick. Those are great. Oh, and you have three you of have them? three. That's cool, yeah. And then, and then like when you fight- You have a lot big, of enemies. Freaking... Well, also the Gleox. Oh, they got three heads. They got three heads and they legit do hit each head. That's cool. I know. That's cool. I know. I think that stuff, what you're saying, like that, the, the arrow thing, that's not a glitch. That's definitely part of the game, but the actual du- duplication glitch, that would make me feel like how I feel when I do that stuff in Fallout. I'm like, that isn't fun anymore. Yeah, I would. You're not struggling. You're making it so like I, the whole I point of the game. I would to... probably do that at the end if I've beaten yeah. everything and I want to just mess around. Yeah. But if I'm doing a first playthrough, I don't want to break it necessarily. Yeah, you know? the diamond thing, it still breaks it. Like the the three shot thing. Like I'm almost, I almost wonder if it's just It's one not of them. as quick as a duplication glitch because you have to go pick them up. Oh, you just shoot at the You just shoot down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to break the arrows though. I think you might break them if you're that close. I no. think you're fine breaking the arrow if you get a diamond. Yeah, yeah. Oh, does that work? I thought it might I don't, just, I don't know. I'm hearing about it now for the first time. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, I wonder if this is one of them things where there's so much in this game Nintendo just didn't catch that because that feels- well, what do you do? How do you fix that? You can't. You make it so it costs three you, diamonds to attach it while you're, while you have a three arrow equipped. I, I guess. No, the, why, why would it cost three? Shouldn't it cost one because that one arrow turns into three with that bow. That's it why- does, yeah, yeah he's saying, oh, how, how do we fix it? It costs three instead of one. That would be oh, the fix. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Like they they knowingly make it three because it splits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they wouldn't. I feel like the whole point is that's just multiplying. Yeah, because I would break some stuff. Like if you have the eyeball, then you would need three eyeballs to shoot Which with that arrow. I would still consider doing that in situations, but I wouldn't do it as much because I'd burn through my stocks too quickly. Yeah. I mean, it's possible that they do update that. Are you sure you don't shoot three? No, you shoot one. You shoot one. Because it, it, it has that effect. But you, on you, it, but you haven't. You wouldn't even have got one of those bows yet. Are you sure? Well, in Breath of the Wild, that's how it was. You can't fuse to Breath of the Wild. No, I'm not saying fuse, but that's when what you I'm have saying. that bow, I know you that. use that one you arrow. Use one, you arrow. one arrow, yeah. that is yeah. true. That's what it arrow. is. Yeah. yeah, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try that okay. one that, See, that, that, that'll that break do. it because you, there's a lady in Goron City that will buy 10 diamonds for 5,000. Ooh. You could break that if you yeah. wanted. I wonder if that's how Bingle did it. No, he did the no, he did sheer the backward flip back thing. Yeah. Pause. Okay. That's surprising that like Nintendo didn't catch that because they have to do R&D. Maybe it's one of them things where cheating feels good. Maybe they just put it in that I category. Like, yeah, I feel like that. Feel. That's not, I don't think that's the cheating they're talking about. I feel like that. They're like, eh, we gotta, we're going to have to deal with some people using this as you literally see the, I've seen the glitch and like you see the game blip when you do that. When you do the item du- duplication. The duplication yeah, not the well, arrow. That, the arrow I'm thing is just full time. I mean, the, I mean the arrow one. Oh, the arrow For the thing, arrow one, they nice. might have had the mentality of, well, if they figure it out, they figure it out. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Which is really lax of Nintendo to even... Thank well, you. the whole game is lax. True. But that one definitely breaks the economy. But I got to be honest, the, I, the, the economy was one thing I was going to bring up where I feel like it's kind of broken in this game in general because everyone, every time I bring this up in chat, they're like, no, I make money really easily. All you do is you go to the snow area
that's my problem though. We got freaking that, hu- we got TikTok hustlers. Is in, that uh, in, in friggin- <laughs> is that everyone that has their ways of making money? It's all like hacks. You know, mm-hmm. someone else was like, oh, I do it by finding the bunnies and I just quick time and I shoot them a bunch and I just hunt the bunnies. And I'm like, if I'm playing a 120 hour game where I am, I have all of this overwhelming content. I should be making money organically. I do it by drop shipping by, rocks from Goron City. <laughs> helping people or like saving someone i should i ended the game with like a thousand rupees at a hundred hours broke hero because you don't get money for anything unless you do some like crazy hacks or like and that's why the glitches are so popular because people need ways of you don't really get money in breath of the wild unless you're out selling stuff like you have to like the only the only way i've found to make money is selling high price items and the easiest high price items to find is just gems around goran city I was by a heat suit I know. and I got 10. I how, got $10. How, how far into you to the game? Like 20 hours yeah. maybe? And yeah. you have like 10 rupees? Yeah. Yeah, you, <laughs> don't, you don't get enough money in this game. Yeah. Like the whole way through, you don't make enough unless you do some like crazy... And I was saying that like a lot of people are cooking in the game. What is like his part-time job? A chef? Yeah. It's just like he saves Hyrule, but he's also a, a Michelin star chef. Like, Yeah, that's what Hannah was I saying I shouldn't need a side job here. H- Hannah was... Like I don't understand what all the the like the 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 food does, like all the mm-hmm. power ups and stuff. I was like, I don't either. I just do mm-hmm. it so I can eat something, so my hearts go up. Like I don't try to. I just mash stuff together and go. Oh, it's this many hearts. Okay. And if it happens, you don't know how buffs work. What? Because I have like a stealth up. I'm like cool. Most of the the, the stealth up doesn't do anything. No, it's know. such a pointless. Unless you're sneaking up on a horse, I don't know why you'd <laughs> even do that. A lot of a lot of those abilities are kind of pointless, but. Um, the recipe like thing where you you click on a a, a a cooked item and it shows a recipe was that in Breath of the Wild? No. Yeah, I don't remember. I didn't no, know. Was never a recipe. No. I don't, yeah. I don't even know what you're they talking about. They added pizza. Yeah, yeah. I did pizza. see that. Pizza. pizza. We love oh, I pizza. I like that you can bring up the recipe cuz if yeah, you want to remake something. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Everything. Yeah. I got you got to show me that, Lou. Sure. Um that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. It, 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 I, I guess most of mine come in the late game of just the repetitiveness of it all cuz I've I've been in Hyrule for so long now. I'm kind of I'm not overwhelmed anymore. I'm just kind of working through the side quests and they should have picking stocks up shrines. like they do in Grand Theft Auto. I gotta be honest. <laughs> what did you say? So they should have stocks <laughs> like they do in Grand Theft Auto. You could pull out your phone and you just they invest might. your actual in-game money your in the stock market. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Poraped has like friggin' uh, has Robin Hood on E Trade on it. Yeah, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> By late game, uh, I've mapped the entire sky and be- I've demolished the sky. It didn't take too long. I think you could finish everything in the sky in a day if you built an air bike and just flew around, which is what I did. Um, I haven't mapped the entire depths. I'm doing it bit by bit. But once I rolled out the sky and I only had the land of Hyrule and the depths, it started to feel like Breath of the Wild. I could just build things now. So like, it doesn't feel that different anymore. I've done most of the major things that made the game different. Mm -hmm. And now in post game, it's very familiar feeling. I'm going back through getting shrines, getting Koroks and finishing up side quests. And some of the side quests are really cool, but... It definitely now feels way more like the last game again. I think the biggest difference is the way you get around and stuff. Because yeah. you have the yeah. you build the stuff because that feels good to do. You don't need a horse anymore. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like I yeah. was getting frustrated because I kept losing my horse, mm-hmm. and and I was like whistling. You don't like, need a horse in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> you got Rivali's Gale, wind jumping, and the paraglider. You don't need a horse ever. <laughs> like, where's he coming? Where why is it here? And people were like, No, if you walk too far away, he's not gonna come. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't remember that. I don't remember it because in the first game, I was trying so hard to keep him around. Yeah. And in this game, I'm like, fuck the horse. I if got you, all this crazy yeah. shit I could do. If you I lose it, never... you just build something. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I just, like, forget the horse. I got or all you fly cool to the stuff. closest, or teleport to the closest tower and just fly. I just go up. I just yeah. get myself as high up as I can go. And then I just. Now, here's go. a question Is this a Mandela effect or am I insane? There was, a, I swear, a trailer early on for Tears of the Kingdom where Link turned into like water and dripped up into the sky. No, that wasn't him doing that. That was. Just that drop of water. Oh, he was just reversing the water. Well, it was it was essential. I think that was all like abstract sto- story of like the 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 teardrop. Okay, and and, and you know what confused then the reverse, me then, and then him going up into the into. The, I was gonna the, say because that clip of the of the of Link near the water puddle, and then the water puddle going up, and then him popping out of the top. I think I just took that as at some point you can turn into water and drip up. That that I could see where you could think that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a random thing that's been bugging me. I kept waiting to get that ability. I thought maybe I would like, like, uh, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but Sidon would eventually give me that ability and he just never did. Mm. Cause he's the water guy. His ability is the worst. That's another complaint I have, by the way. Here's another complaint. I don't like that they follow you around and stuff. You can turn them off. Yeah. But Sidon has the most useless ability out of all of them. What is it? That's the one I'm going to, isn't it? Yes. So when you activate him, he creates a water bubble around you that'll take a hit, but it only lasts like 10 seconds. And if you attack while you have it, 
turns it into a water blast and you lose it. Oh. Now here's why this sucks. The water blast does no damage. I mean, maybe if it's a fire enemy, but how often are you coming? It's so specific. It taking a hit is awesome, but if I can't attack, what am I doing? I'm just running around like, yeah, you can't get me. Oh, you got me. I guess I'll attack you now. The other <laughs> abilities, I won't ruin them all for you. They all have uses. They're all sick. Maybe Ga I'll skip that guy. <laughs> Garen, the Garen ability is maybe a little lackluster, but yeah, his is like absolutely useless and he just gets in the way of the fights. In the first game, I got the uh, the one that revives you. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty essential. Mm -hmm. And I got the Goron one that those abilities hit. were so much better. Yeah, like, even Rivali's Gale. And those Gale. are the only two that I that I got. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I beat <laughs> Rivali's Gale is essential. Come on, it's so great to just whoop whoop. Every, so I want to do something similar with this every one. one of those abilities was sick. I want to ruin something for you, but I don't want to. I don't care. Okay. I'm down. The only one that I have problems with is or. Urbosis Fury, and that is because if I just by chance hold down the attack button too long, then it casts it, and I'm not, and I don't mean to cast it. That's just the only thing I've seen. Oh shit! So if we're comparing them, uh, the Goron ability in the last game, you could hold left trigger and have a shield whenever you wanted it, yeah. and it would take a hit, yeah. which is kind of equivalent to what Sidon does, except it's on a timer, which is really lame. And then the water thing does nothing. Uh, you have a revive ability, which is just insane. Yeah, you have Rivali's Gale, which blows you up and then makes it easy to traverse. Talon's ability blows you this way, which is really handy when you're in the sky. Yeah, I've been around. using it a lot. Yeah, And I use it all the time, but I would rather have Rivali's Gale. They kind of replace Rivali's Gale by, there's a pine cone you can put into a fire that creates a Rivali's Gale. And also the fan. Also bombs. You just get a fan. Anything, anything there's a, I guess there's a ton of different ways yeah. you can do it. And the ascend ability. It's just not as, it's not as free. But you don't need, yeah, you, really, the reality is you don't need that anymore. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then yeah. you have the lightning ability, which- That was great. Which in the other game, you would hold down a charge and it would zap everything in the area. Now it creates a ring that slowly starts moving out. And whenever something's in the ring, you can strike an arrow and it'll lightning strike that area, which is great, but it doesn't do everything. And you have to stop everything you're doing to try and hit something specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think all of the abilities are crap compared <laughs> to the previous abilities. But what makes it worse is the previous ones were automatic on button presses or yeah. certain things you could do. This one, you have to run and chase after one of the NPC characters. And like, it's so annoying because- It's annoying when they're just around and you the do by accident. The lightning girl is aggressive. So if there's a bunch of enemies, she's always in the enemies. So if I want to strike them with lightning, I've got to run up to them and in them and try and spam A on her and then like back up and try and shoot. Oh, Talon like is so frustrating because when enemies die and drop loot, I'll be pressing A like rapidly to try and pick them up and he'll walk over like, what you find in there, buddy? Yeah. And then you'll hit A and A again and he'll gust everything away <laughs> and like down the cliff. And I'm like, no, Talon, you idiot. They're useful to have around because they attack enemies. They are, around yes. You. And yeah. you can level them up and they so actually like do a assists. lot of damage. Yeah, so yeah. Talon will always get headshots with a bow and like do massive damage. Yeah, that's why I like having him there, so but that's he sick. is annoying. But that's trying awesome. to get the abilities is insane. And I also don't understand why it's A to use their ability. And when it brings up that cooldown bar, there's like a whole interface of A, X, Y, and B. Yeah. But you never use X, Y, and B. Every yeah. one of their abilities is on A. Yeah, it should That's be. That's weird. It should be you hold something. And then you can rotate. And then, yeah, and then you press. And you should be able to do that whenever you want. Yeah. Like, why do I have to go and talk to Lightning Girl in mid fight? Why can't yeah. I do hold button X? And now I've yelled at her in link yelling, which is nothing. And then she knows to stop expanding the it field. It should be another wheel or, and or, or the ABX. They're always ways. grouped together. So if I run up to them and I hit A trying to get one ability, I will always get a different ability. Yeah. And then I've got to deal with that and get that out of the way. And then there's another, and this is a How many spoiler, NPCs so can you walk you around with? Or not. I'll take it. I don't give a shit. I'm, she doesn't want it. I'm um, whatever. I mean, I really haven't played much of the game. Don't but. listen. Close your ears. There's, there's a fifth one okay. you get later. That one you can ride. Whoa. So mid fight, when I'm like trying to pick up a weapon quickly or I'm trying to like do something, all of a sudden I'm like, why am I not moving? And I'm like, I'm like, why can't I? Oh, I'm on the back of this thing. And I have to press a button to get ready to get off and then jump off oh. and then try. So I always turn, every time I get into a fight, I turn that one off right away. He's always off. Wait, she's always off. Can I, are these always on or like, are you can, they, you can turn they them off. get triggered? Like, but do they get triggered the second you start going up to an enemy? No, you need to turn them back they, off. They literally, okay. if you have them enabled, they walk around everywhere with you. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen it. But I was yeah. Which oh, by the way, makes the game lag in big yeah. fights. Cause it's I you, figured. five other people and then enemies. But you kind of want them on because they fight enemies for you. Yeah. So it's like kind of cool having them around, but it's, it I makes the game I usually have them all off except Talon until a big fight. And then I'll turn them all on. Okay, that's a good idea. I don't, I don't necessarily know how much I like that. It's, I don't love it. Yeah. I, would I don't like, love it. <laughs> it's kind of like a mess. I think the idea is cool of having them there and fighting alongside you because they do do decent damage and it's sure. kind of nice. They just, they should only be there for fighting. It, the, 
that or just change the way you interact with them to get their abilities. Both. Because having to run up to everyone individually and press A when they're all clumped together is a nice yeah, like, thing. Why don't you just make it like the down D-pad or something? Another there needs, It needs to be another wheel that comes up mm -hmm. along with the weapons and stuff. Because mm -hmm. it would be, it would, it would make sense, I feel, if because all of those things sound like charge abilities. They all sound yeah. like something. No, they are. They, they all go on cooldown. They're special attacks. No, but basically. I mean like if you were to hold your sword button. Oh, that's how it was in the last game. That's what I'm saying. That's, yeah. But that's what they all sound like to me. It, I think it, they tried to make them more instant. But I the like fact that. that you have to go and talk to them inherently makes them way that's less That's so instant. weird. They're yeah. on a cooldown, so it's like- uh, But why talk to this? That makes no sense. Yeah, that, I don't know. that really breaks the game. It, it's, it, you're in a fight, you want to do an action, you gotta <laughs> walk over to this guy. <laughs> hey, 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 go! <laughs> Give me the shield! Blow your wind in this and, way. And by the way, when you're trying to get it, by the time you finally get it, someone's hitting you and the shield's gone. Yeah. Like, Give me the shield! Yeah. Thanks! Yeah. The lines? Yeah. Like how they talk? Yeah. Like that? No, like when you launch uh, his ability. He's, oh, he's, you he got him it. already, huh? Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't finish that area, but I got him. But he sounds so dumb. Oh, the, his voice quips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember exactly what he says, but yeah, it's like, I got it. I'm on it. Yeah. So this Garin guy. Okay. <laughs> every time you have him equipped. I loved him in the first game. Every single thing that you get on to ride or drive, he will automatically snap to the front and start spinning. Oh. Oh, and that you can, sucks. You can shoot him by pressing A. I watched her do that. Yeah. I thought I was only for that one it's, part. It, it's honestly never actually useful because you can aim him. Mm. He's just a straight line. So you can kind of aim what you're looking at. But like if you're in a car, you can't go up and down. So he'll only shoot in one direction. So if you want to yeah. shoot something up there, you can't. So it's so specific, but he's always there yeah. in your face, spinning around. Now, will he fight enemies while you're fighting, while you're just walking around fighting? Yeah. Okay. It's only when you're on like a... A uh, uh, moving vehicle, okay. which is kind of it's kind of cool how it works because you can take like a log and attach wheels to it, and he'll know to be at the front of the log. So it's interesting the way it's designed. But as soon as he does that, I have to hit start and turn him off because I'm like, he's just he's so ugly. How do you, how do you turn him off? <laughs> you have to go into you go into key items and then serious? hit a medallion and dis d dismiss. Only when they're there, like you could permanently dismiss them. You they are always there unless you dismiss them, and then they are dismissed until you invite them back. I was the talking. They're, they're only there because you have something enabled in the menu. Okay, so you could disable that though. Yes. I, yeah. I, I mean, Dismissing is disabling and just getting rid of them. They just The way you made it sound sounded like they will always pop up and you have to go in the menu and dismiss them every time. And no. Because yeah. that would be I mean, it's, just, it's, it's the kind of, kind of thing like where like, it will annoy you so you'll turn it off in the moment yeah. but then you'll need them again in a few minutes or you'll at least want them again whether it's because you want an ability or there's a fight coming up and then you'll forget to turn them off until they annoy you again and then you're like, oh, right. Turn but you when off. you get them, you get a medallion and you just disable the medallion. You actually get a ring, but in the menu, it looks like a medallion. Tullin has this cool little like anklet and I immediately, oh, went, to, cutie. I immediately went to Etsy and I was like, Tullin's anklet, nobody made this yet? Really? Mm -hmm. I, I actually did soon. see on Twitter, someone making a, a mock-up because there's the map ability on the ring and someone did do like a mock-up of where like it showed a medallion and then it went into another little Oh ring, yeah, that's how it should it be. it was four medallions of like, mm -hmm. oh, you could pick whoever you want to be your mm -hmm. assist. Yeah. It, it, it well, well, well it, it, should be, it should be you go to the medallions and then you press A, B, X, or Y for the one that you want. Yeah. Maybe that's, I'm, maybe that's why it's a map. I want the rings. I hope someone makes the rings. Oh. Those would be cool. Yeah. Maybe that is a future update where they actually do that and replace the map. Because the map is fucking pointless. I don't think they're going to do something that drastic. That's, that's like a big UI. It just UI seems pointless change. to have a, a map as like a shortcut. Yeah, that's a literally the select button. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what do you want? What do you want? So you know how in your in your shortcuts for like a when you hold down the, stuff, the L button, it brings up the a, wheel a map of the abilities. The map is on that wheel of abilities. For what does reason. it do when you click on it? It just goes to the map. Oh, I've never done like that. Like how you would hit minus. I've never done it's that. It's the same exact yeah. function. So that oh. so so saying that should pointless. be the medallions. So that should bring up the medallions and then you press the button. Someone made a mock-up of that where they replace the map and then put the medallions there, oh. which makes sense. Yes. That would be good, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, because that... It, I saw, I, I got that and I was like, why is this here? I'm never- yeah, I had no idea this. the map was there. Yeah, it's the green one. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how much time do we have? I have five minutes or less. Yeah. To, to talk about something I do like though, I really do like the new abilities more than the old abilities. Oh yeah, the so Ascend and the, stuff. Yeah, the Ascend and all of that. So I don't like, I don't like the character abilities as much, but I like Link's abilities way more. Yeah. I think they flow together so well this time because yeah. last time we had like, we had Magnesis, which was only for metal stuff. Crisis, which made platforms out of ice. We had uh, Freeze Time. None of those really worked together. Like you couldn't really use Crisis and Freeze Time together, um, or even Magnesis and Freeze Time or Crisis. Like stasis. none of them. Stasis. Thank yeah. you. You could. None of them really worked together. These new abilities, they all work together really well. Like you can move something with the hand up, 
and then you can like drop it, use crisis to like make it go back up to where you had it. You can use ascend to zip up into it and through it and then use it as a platform. Yeah. And that's just one example of how well all the new abilities really flow together and make yeah. exploring the game so much fun. I also like even just the way that they're mapped. When you press L, ascend is up on yeah. the D-pad. Oh, cute. The, the God hand is right, which is his right hand. The down is, uh, what's down? Is fuse. And usually you're fusing things on the ground. And then left is time, rewind. yeah, time, which I think is just left ba because left. that's the last. Backwards. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's intentional, but I don't know because in it Japan it'd be the other, it'd be the other way. Yeah, I think. everything about it. And I thought about that while I was playing. I'm like, man, this is all this is all very flowy, yeah. like so well. If only out. the weapons were like that. If only the weapons were like that. <laughs> and the yeah. and the medallions, whatever they're called. But yeah, no, I love that. And like, I yeah, a lot of people are like, yeah, you, you're like God in this game. I think most people like it. Some people don't. But again, yeah. I think you are God enough to a point where it's still fun, but you don't feel untouchable. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I have the hard times in the game, yeah. but moving around feels really good. Because the whole time I'm, so much better. the whole time I'm moving around, I'm solving little mini puzzles. I'm mm -hmm. like, how can I, all right, I'm in the middle of this like open plains area. How do I get up really high so I can fly over to the tower? Mm -hmm. So I got to solve all these little puzzles. Oh, maybe I can reverse this up to the sky, use that, and then I get a little bit of airtime, and then I can end up over here. You know and what's insane for stuff like that? Auto build. Yeah, I want that. That's why I want that. Initially, when I got auto build, I was like, oh, this is nice. Now, I, when I've made something, I'll just like bring out the items. Auto I'll build? Have it build itself. I don't have to keep remaking the same thing. Nice. Yeah, I can just make like a little rocket thing. Oh, cool. But what I didn't really think about is if you're missing a piece, the Zion, Zionite that you have, you can pay to create it instead. Yeah. But not just for Zionite materials, anything. So now I have like in the stone area, I didn't build this, I actually got a schematic for this, but you could do this. You build a stone platform, a bunch of stones high, and then a stone top. It's just all stones. But once you've done it and you save it to your favorites, it costs like 10 Zonite and you can build it whenever you want and it's scaffolding. So, so you can ascend to the top and then you're high. And if there's like a cave top, you can ascend further. Hold on a second. I thought auto build used those little gotcha balls. It does, okay, but it uses, it uses everything. Yeah. You can- you What can, do you mean it uses everything? You could go. You could go to the Goran City, and there's like a table in one of the rooms, like a like an actual table, like a wooden asset. Mm -hmm. You can grab that. You can fuse something to it. That's saved. You can make that table anywhere yeah. you want. No, I understand. But, but, I, but I, when you let's say you want to auto build that table later on, mm -hmm. do you need a wood table? No, that's what I'm saying. You just pay like five pay zone, it just and it makes a table. I didn't know that. I yeah. thought it was you. If you want to make a car with rockets, no. you need rockets and you don't need and anything. Stuff. So you just use zonite. Do money. you remember watching me trucking around? Yeah. You remember when the truck was green? Uh, I didn't watch that one. <laughs> that later, if you go back and later, my entire truck is green. It's because I lost the first truck, didn't have the materials to make it again, but auto build recreated it for like 50 Zonite. It remade the entire oh, thing. Oh, that's fucking cool. So I didn't need any of the materials. That's cool. Because otherwise I would just use the Zonite that's in those really cool. machines and just get them that I know. all these little balls. I know. I mean, the yeah. auto build is handy. Like I, I have an air bike, like I said, and it's nice because it's so specific how you have to make it so that it flies perfectly. Yeah. I have it saved auto build. So I go into my inventory, I drop two fans in a stick and then I'm like auto build done. But if I didn't have two fans in a stick, I could pay nine Zonite and make it out of green. Oh, and so now, you don't even have to pay no. the Zonite. You can use regular yes. materials. Yeah. Oh, that's And really if you have cool. like half and half, it'll just cost it'll half of whatever it is that you that's, need. Wow. That's awesome that they even thought of that. I know. Yeah. The fact that you can literally save anything you touch that is into really auto cool. build is crazy. Yeah, I need to get that. That's mm -hmm. in the, I mean, we're spoiling now, but that's in the depths yeah. somewhere, right? Yeah. yeah. I think I watched somebody. The, the storyline for that is actually really cool. It, it continues on after that. And if you follow it along, you unlock a bunch of schematics and schematics will literally just give you an auto build you can make. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you don't even have to actually make it. One of the auto builds is really cool too. It's a fishing boat Ooh. where it, it's like a boat with a little lightning rod at the front. And when you're riding around, it's zapping all the water and all the fish will die and then get caught in the boat. And you just oh, pick up yeah, all the I've fish. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Seen a lot yeah, of Zelda so cool. I, I, I wanted to complain because I think it's interesting it's to talk about, about. I to think talk we about things criticisms. we don't like, but I want to stress for everything I don't like, there's a hundred things I love. Yeah, no, the game's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> he looks I disappointed. I hope you do. But I just, just want to take a weekend and play it because I haven't had yeah. that time to do it. And I mm -hmm. feel like I need that to really get into it. So I'm literally. Yeah. I'm I felt. I felt like I hadn't even scratched the surface until maybe like 50 hours. Makes sense. Wow. And then I started to feel like surface has been scratched. And now I feel like I'm. I'm just doing the the mundane. But I when I finished the game, I finished at 44 percent completion because it gives you a oh, percentage wow. when you finish. It sounds like a lot. But it's a lot because I've been playing for another week and 30 hours more and. All I've been doing is shrines and unlocking the depths and side quests. I've done it nonstop. I've rebuilt an entire village and I'm at 53%. Wow. <laughs> like it's, it's barely moved and Jesus. I've done so much. So yeah, it's a big game. Wow. 
Okay. Wow. Uh, All right. Thanks for watching again. I would. I love. Hey, it. did you see last week's episode? <laughs> nah, let's see if it's fixed. Hold on. Let's so go. I don't know if we talked about let's it. Did we talk out. about it? You could. She probably should talk about it. Uh, last week uh, we had an issue where we did a live stream right here for the first time. We did a it live. It was fantastic. We loved everything about it, other than we had a glitch while we were ending the stream, and it processed in a weird, wacky way. And only three minutes of the video ended up on YouTube somehow. It's still, it's still, it's still only three minutes. Well, I don't know what we happened. we uh, in the back end where you like place ads into the uh, episodes. Um, there's the full timeline in there. We found. We the tried full. to finagle it. Because it's the video is all there. We live streamed the, the whole end, thing. People watched there. it. Yeah, and we, it says an hour and five minutes, but then you click on it and it says three minutes. Wow! So we tried this hack where you cut, you use a YouTube editor tool to cut some out, and it tricks it into reposting the whole thing. He saw that on Reddit, I think. Yeah. And I did that, but I think that's still processing. And right now, it still says three minutes. In the chat, people are saying like in the comments, like it's fourteen minutes for them. It's three and a half. Someone said it's two minutes, but I think. The common sense is that it's three minutes. Yeah, still. YouTube completely fucked last week. I mean, by this point, we figured out a fix. We've either yeah. re-uploaded it or it's fixed. So yeah. sorry, though, if you were early and you tried to watch it and it was only three minutes. Audio listeners didn't have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So there you go. That's a win for iTunes. There you go. Listen, never look at us. Just listen to us. <laughs> never yeah, look at us. Faces for radio. Yeah. <laughs> never look. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening to another podcast episode. We love you so much. Goodbye. We're about to do another bonus episode for Patreon. So $5 a see month. You can see that bonus episode. Last week was so fun. We answered Patreon questions. We talked about Bob's band. What will we talk about today? Probably this, more Zelda. This mix smells like cigarettes. <sighs> Why? All right. I think all uh, music like, comment, subscribe. Like see cigarettes. you guys next week. We love you so much. Check out Skillshare. Links down below. Bye, bye, buddy, buddy, buddy. I'm trying to fix the episode still. It's broken. Bye. Musicians do like to smoke.